Hey guys, I wanted to do a video to show you my meal prep routine and what I do for it. So I want to start off by saying that if you can't buy organic, that's okay. Um, I would rather personally see people eating non-organic fruits and veggies than eating alternative foods. So for example, this week we could not afford organic apples, so we bought this huge thing of apples and what I'll do is I will fill my sink with cold water and then one cup of vinegar and I'll let these sit for 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll rinse them off. So I do my best to get all the pesticides and junk off. It's not perfect, but if it's what you can afford, it's what you can afford. So in our house, we always have so many bananas. If you are at Legman's and there's no bananas, it's because they're all at my house. So, apologies, but we love bananas. We put them in shakes, Liam eats them, it's one of our favorite things. So, one thing I struggled with in the beginning on the 21 Day Fix were snack options. But I found an awesome alternative roasted chickpeas. The recipe is on my website, www.nataliecaseyfitness.com. Um, this is my favorite snack. I eat way, 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 way too many of these. They're awesome. And it's a clean snack. It's wonderful. Um, I do a couple things to make my life easier. I pre-chop garlic and onions, so they're all ready for my recipes during the week. I don't have to get out the processor and or the cutting board and the knife. I don't have to worry about that at all. The point of meal prepping is to simplify your life. We are all busy. Whether you're a stay-at-home mom or you work full-time outside the house or you're a stay-at-home mom and you work home full-time, everyone's busy. We all need things to make our life easier. So another thing I do is like this is one of the week's dinners it's for a recipe. I cut the veggies and then I put them all in this bag so I don't have to worry about cutting the veggies throughout the week. I just go ahead, put everything together, pop it in the oven, I'm good to go. I also keep these on hand for my little guy. They're sweet potato fries. So, you know, if I'm full at dinner time and I've already had a shake, my husband works 4 p.m. to midnight, I can always make him some like sweet potato fries and veggies and maybe a starch and he's good to go. So that makes my life easier, just having these cut up and ready. Another thing is sweet potatoes can sometimes go bad in our house because we overbuy groceries, which we're trying not to do. But that's why you're not going to see a lot of stuff in my meal prep this week because we're really using up like our frozen and you know other stuff we have around. So I'm really trying to get better about using what I have. Well, that's a really good money saving tip. We tend to not use what we have and then things go bad. If you notice any produce is going bad, pop it in the freezer. It will be good to go. That's what I try to do. Um, so yeah. I make homemade peanut butter. If you don't want to make pe homemade peanut butter, that's okay. Um, I do it homemade because the store-bought stuff isn't the best. And then if you buy organic, um, it's expensive. So I just put peanuts in my food processor with a little bit of honey. I use the raw honey and a little bit of canola oil, and I food process it for like five minutes, and it's good to go, and we have plenty of peanut butter for the week. I cut up lemons for my water, and this thing, this thing must be in the fridge for every night, or I can guarantee you I'm not drinking enough water the following day. So that's something I've really tried to get in the habit of. I'm not going to lie, I'm not always good at it, but I'm making an effort to get this thing in the fridge at night. Carrots, again for recipes or just a snack on a ton of celery for recipes or just a snack on. I have some like chopped up like the carrots are too. And I have carrots chopped up like this celery is. So those are like two of our favorite foods. 
So that's basically for this week, our meal prep. We're trying to use up what we have, so it's not, I don't have as much stuff prepped as I usually do. But that's what I have for this week. And when I find, like, when I have this already set up like this, versus just in the package in the produce drawer, it actually gets eaten like this. If it's in the produce drawer, it's going to go bad. That's a guarantee. Um, for my little guy, I put some peanut butter on here, and he loves it. Um, he loves the roasted chickpeas, too. We eat a lot around here. I'm not going to lie. Um, if you guys have any questions about this video or want suggestions on no. recipes or what you need to meal prep, no. um, please let me know. Hey, no. Like I said earlier in this video, it's about simplifying your life, making it work for you. I pick Sundays and on Sundays I just take like two hours of meal prep and it saves me buttloads of time during the week. So let me know what your questions are, guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye.